An emotional day on Saturday at the Kohl Center as the Badgers welcome back Howard Moore to the Kohl Center for the first time in nearly five years. Surrounded by several of his teammates from back in the 90s, it was a special day. On the floor, it's a tough week for Wisconsin, losing on Tuesday night at Indiana. And then in a very entertaining game, Illinois, one of the best offensive teams in the country, left town eight points better, 91 to 83. We'll look back at the two games. Of course, revisit what happened prior to the tip on Saturday. We'll have our weekly sit down with head coach Greg Gard. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Starting to back is Wall. Backing is Goody. A little dig from Harmon. Still single from Goody. A couple of pumps. Wall inside up. No good. Rebound. Tip dunk. Stephen Crow. There he is. Yes, sir. He'll toss it to Wall. Flip for Store. Turn in the corner. AJ left lane line. Spin move in the lane. Flipped it up and into the right hand. And AJ go to work. Inside feed, caught by Danger, knocked away by Chucky. Badgers with numbers. Hepburn feeds Klesman, right side, 4-3, book it. In transition, a huge three, we're tied at 52. Tyler Wall up top. Wall a lob, Storr lays it up and in with a right hand. <laughs> he hangs in the air. Go either way, yeah, bread. We're in control of our own destiny, so you know we can go downhill from here, or we can only go up here from here. You know it's going to start from leadership up here, these, these three guys, and um, you know it's going to start in practice Monday. You know we got tomorrow off, so we're going to get our bodies right, our mental right, and we're going to come to practice working. And we got to figure out very quick, or else, like I said last post game interview, it's going to be a quick march for us. This is Wisconsin basketball. And Wall with a steal. Tyler with the pimp. Down the lane, slam dunk. Three on one, flips the store. Down the lane, and he hammers it with the right hand. With two, Hepper down. Off the glass, off the glass. He slips it in the crowd, low on the left, slam dunk. Another three point hit for Connor is Seijin. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now, that's just a footnote in my journey. A small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Wanna play? Play High Chai Fortune Frenzy at High V. Right now, buy a High Chai Entree and win a prize in every fortune cookie. Prizes include free High Chai apps, free High Chai Entrees, and you can enter to win big cash prizes like $220, $2,200, $22,000. Grand prize? $220,000 in cash. Eat high chai. Win free stuff. It's that easy. Only at hy V. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. For the first time since 2019, please welcome Howard Moore. All I gotta say about Coach Moore is it was, he's an amazing man. It was really great to see him and his former teammates, his former coaching staff, and 
and I was here right before, right after it happened, so I was able to go talk to him. But just to show, have the Cole Center show that much love um, and enthusiasm for a man like that, it, it really shows what a special place this is. From a Nationals perspective, not everybody in the world has a chance to see the type of person that Howard is and the type of strength that he has to overcome this uh, situation that he's going through. So I was happy to, to share his story with, with the world and hopefully um, it's more great stories to come when it comes to, to talking about Howard. Seeing everybody's support makes me really proud to wear the Badger jersey, you know. Um, that's why I have a Badger tattoo, you know. This is not just a fan base, it's not just basketball, it's not just sports, it's beyond that, you know. It's a brotherhood, it's a family. So that's why I love wearing this Badger jersey. It means more than just wearing, playing basketball. Uh, in a world where it's very easy to, easy to forget, um, there's a lot of things a lot more important. And, uh, you know, if that didn't bring tears to your eyes today, uh, seeing Howard out there, then, then, then I pity you. You can see the progress every time I see him. His face looks different. I mean, his his his, his strength looks good. Um, again, being energetic um, and and just being aware. And yeah. you know, that's the thing that people may not see. But Howard, you can you can see that he's a fighter. You can see that he is doing all the things that he needs to do to get back. It's, it's definitely going to be a long journey from from here on out, but. You know how it is. He's he's definitely going to be duck. Thirty four. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what we're getting back to. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. We believe in financial security for Wisconsin public school employees and their families. WEA member benefits. Proud partner of Wisconsin athletics. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. I had big dreams, then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health, remarkable. Yes, it is the final week now of the Big Ten's regular season conference tournament and obviously what follows that all fast approaching as we turn the calendar to the month of March. And yeah, we talk about the games, but there's something that took place much bigger than that on Saturday at the Kohl Center when the Badgers hosted the Illinois Fighting Illini. It was a chance for fans at the Kohl Center, whoever took in the game, watching, listening, whatever, a chance to recognize uh, Howard Moore and, and the family and a lot of teammates back. Um, emotional. It's a, even as we sit here and talk about it, it's, a, it's an emotional time. Um, but a, a great opportunity for people to, to recognize the entire Moore family. Right? Yeah, I think, you know, um, there's hard to put words around that whole, the, this whole experience, but to see all of his teammates back and obviously the family and just how people have, you talk about the true meaning of being a Badger, of how they've rallied around him and his family um, over the last, you know, this, we're closing in on five years now, which is doesn't seem possible, but um, it, uh, it's very heartwarming to see that type of support and and that's in tough times you lean on each other and that's what this group has done and and our, our really faithful obviously alumni and and close fans that have really followed the program through the years so it's it was a it was a great experience i think in you step back and look at it for everybody. You mentioned the teammates, and Rashard Griffith has a, a really, really well-crafted piece. In my words is what it's called, a series of, of pieces written by athletes, former athletes. You can get it on various UW Athletic Department uh, social media platforms. It has been nothing short of remarkable what Rashard has done, what Howard you know, has done for Rashard and Rashard's life, and now a chance to, you know, help out a friend very much in need. Yeah, I mean, Richard has been, you know, a, a godsend from the very beginning, um, from the day, you know, of the accident all the way up to the current time. And he, he does an awesome job of putting that into his words, so to speak, of what 
he's gone through and, and why he does it, you know, and why he's been there. As he's mentioned, Howard and Jennifer were there for him, and he's it's his opportunity to help help them and help Howard and Jarrell specifically um, through this, and that's what teammates and brothers for life, and it gets very cliche at times, but yeah. this puts it in real, as I tell my team all the time, you, this is these are real issues and real crisis not uh, it's much bigger than a final score of a game when you really look back and unfortunately we've seen this one unfold right in front of us and but to watch teammates and specifically Richard you know stand by the Moore family step for step has been awesome it's really something to talk with um, those who have coached Howard those who were teammates of Howard and those coached by him and I bring up that last part because I was talking to Brian Butch about it I said you know which it seems to me one of the things about Howard, he's a great guy. That's undisputable. But what I think might catch some by surprise who don't know him is that he is brutally honest. Oh, he yes. will tell you what's <laughs> up, right? Brian got it, and you see oh, it yeah. when he was on your yeah, staff, Yeah, I just right? actually told the team that because we, as we kind of prepped them for, uh, you know, leading into the weekend, just uh, not a lot of them, they know who Howard is, or um, Tyler is really the only one that was – uh, here when he was here um, in a short window but uh, he was very brutally honest very direct it didn't come soft and buttered up you know there was it was if you screwed up you know he he let you know about it and uh, he was very uh, like I said that I think everybody really respected him when he's that honest and doesn't doesn't have to sugarcoat anything he's going to tell you exactly the true uh, the true meaning behind it and and how you can get better and that's what people appreciated about it you know when you took over after Bo Bo stepped down um, you as quickly as you could Howard you know was doing some work for Big Ten Network and right. no doubt was ready to be a star in, in television but you knew his value you know his value as a coach and, and he kind of laid it out as soon as you brought him back didn't you? yeah it did you know years later I joke with him that I saved him from Hollywood because he was well <laughs> on his fast track to being off the BTN set into something much more glamorous, but no, it, it was a, it was really an easy decision, you know, because you had somebody that understood this place, had been an assistant here, um, you know, previously, and it also probably most importantly had been a head coach, and, and I think that's the one thing that helped us through that year, and that's what I think maybe on the outside people really don't understand, the job wasn't handed to us, you had to earn it, and and I remember Ab Nicholas telling me afterwards that uh, you got this the old-fashioned way you had to earn it and there's nothing worse than a or more more difficult and and than a three-month interview mm -hmm. you know it's about results on the floor and Howard was a big piece of that he definitely was an ear to lean on and, and a calming voice during that time because he had sat in that seat that I was moving over uh, to in, in the midst of a, a storm so to speak so there's no doubt that uh, he was a huge attribute and a uh, reason why we're here today. I want to put this the right way here in a couple of minutes left in this segment because this is an awful way to have to gain perspective, for lack of a better term, um, in such a real-life situation. And you've gone through other things with your father and, and right. things that, that happen in the course of life. But as badly as you want to win, as competitive as you and your guys are, this, and you, you hinted at this a couple of minutes ago, this does kind of – circle it back right it's a, yeah you want to win you want to maximize your ability right but there are a lot bigger things out. well if perspective is a, a very good world a word specifically in today's world um in a, in a lot of regards not just not just badger basketball but everywhere just perspective of keeping the main thing the main thing and and focusing on trying to help young people grow and and you do it through the experience that is created with athletics but there is a point in time, unfortunately, you get that really, it's more than a cold, hard slap in the face with something like this, with the Moore family, that, you know, regrounds you when you, it pulls you back pretty quickly when you really peel back at the circumstances and everything that's going on that, you know, missing a couple jump shots or um, not, not uh, bumping a roller on a ball screen really is uh, a little minuscule compared to real life issues yeah it was a special day obviously at the Cole center yes there's basketball yes there's a scoreboard but it was a very special day for other reasons at the Cole center this weekend we'll take a break more to come as we continue with the badger sports report after a serious accident you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve we're here for you whenever you need us groover law offices proud partner of wisconsin athletics one call, that's all. 
Wanna play? Play High Chai Fortune Frenzy at High V. Right now, buy a High Chai entree and win a prize in every fortune cookie. Prizes include free High Chai apps, free High Chai entrees, and you can enter to win big cash prizes like $220, $2,200, $22,000. Grand prize? $220,000 in cash. Eat high chai. Win free stuff. It's that easy. Only at High V. WEA member benefits. Dedicated to helping Wisconsin public school employees become financially secure with programs designed for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Well, we talked about the special weekend at the Kohl Center, the day on Saturday when the Badgers uh, played the Illinois Fighting Illini, and it was about more than the game. It's about honoring Coach Moore and, and the family, as we mentioned with uh, head coach Greg Gard. Dean Oliver knows Howard very well, uh, having coached alongside him. We, was talking with, with Greg and you know Brian Butch, either you know, guys who played for him, coached with them, coached him uh, give us your perspective of fellow coach Moore when you guys were together on the staff because he's many things including very honest but take us inside a little bit with, with Howard I'll tell you what he is uh, to me he was big brother you know he was really <laughs> teaching me the ropes and how to approach things um, not only with our guys but just uh, over on the season the, the big thing uh, about Howard is is he has such great perspective you know, and we lose that so much um, throughout the seasons, the wins and losses and the ups and downs. Uh, but he always, you know, uh, got after uh, not only the players, but us coaches, if we weren't getting things done right. Uh, and then also, you know, he was the calm in the storm when, when things weren't going well. Uh, he gave us great perspective on uh, how do we calm down and, and kind of hold ourselves accountable. So. Uh, the ultimate coach. It's, it's a gift. I mean, I don't know how many people have that gift of he could be the he can be the guy who can make everybody laugh, make everybody think, and, and just kind of you know there's an even keel that you have to have, but the competitive fire that goes with it. Too, well, right? no doubt about it. You know, I'll never forget. Uh, I think we got blown out by Marquette at home, and and you saw the the fire in how much. Um, you know, this university means to, to Howard, and uh, he really let it all out after that game. And we were all, you know, taken back, but it also was such a big motivator uh, to go after, the, you know, throughout the rest of the season. And then, uh, you know, he's just, he always has that smile, you know, and, and he can always calm us down when, whenever things weren't going uh, so well, as they always do every season at some point. Uh, but he just, you know, uh, just the, the perspective he always had and, uh, you know, he always knew what to say in the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's always, I would imagine everybody associated with the program, I mean, somebody like me, I, mean, I knew him when he was a player, but you work alongside him. There's probably not a day that goes by where, I mean, every day you're thinking, at some point of the day you probably, you know, Howard, the, the, the smiling face, the, the words of wisdom and all that comes to mind, right? Yeah, you know, working alongside him was unbelievable for me. Like I said, I looked at him as a big brother teaching me the ropes, and uh, you miss him so so much, uh, not just on the bench, but uh, going over to his house. He'd always have everyone over and, and things like that. He just was, um, you know, just a complete um, human being yeah. as far as what he's doing in the community, what he's doing. Uh, he's all about helping others and a total selfless person. And that's what makes the day very special, as we mentioned on Saturday, when the when Badger fans everywhere in the in the Cole Center, wherever, you know, have a chance to, to recognize recognize the family. And the one thing I would imagine is very true. Um, you know, Howard, from what I understand, watches the games, and I would think you know somebody like a John Blackwell. I'm just going to pick some names here. Like, and yeah, he kind of would make anybody smile. And I'm sure there's a great sense of pride when you see a young guy coming in and doing the things that John is doing here as a freshman, right? I'll tell you what, you know, I, I know Howard's smiling every time he sees him because um, he's the exact uh, player that, uh, you know, Howard and we all, all us coaches love. Um, and he's doing a tremendous job of representing the university. And that that's, you know, what it's all about. It's you're representing your family, you're representing uh, your teammates and, and Blackwell's done such a tremendous job of that and uh, we're all proud of him. 
you guys, we talked about him earlier in the year. I remember talking to Coach Guard in November, probably after the Fort Myers tournament. Thinking, I got the impression you guys, you've, you had a lot of confidence that he could do some things on the defensive end that were ahead of the curve as a freshman. And then you find out at both ends of the floor, and I mentioned Fort Myers, but was there an earlier time? It was it summer, was it camp thinking, oh yeah, this guy, this yeah. guy can help us now. Yeah, I think defensively in the summer, uh, for sure. You know, the competitiveness, uh, just how you bring it in every drill, you could see that early on. Um, but now he's really learning, you know, how to score away from the ball when you don't have the ball, uh, how to cut and, and find a uh, little opportunities there, how to get a big offensive rebound. A lot of things that don't show up on the stat sheet, he's really figuring out. And it's hard to do as a freshman. And, and really, when you look at it, he's played pretty limited minutes. You know, it, it, he had the injury and was out for a little bit. So uh, he's, he's learning really fast. He's really open to, uh, you know, uh, leaning into his teammates um, and asking questions. I think that's the great thing about him. He's, he asks questions and, and really wants to find out uh, how do you play this game at this level, and he's he's showing us he's learning fast. It says something, and it, it feels the Indiana game, but even earlier games when a freshman can come in and spark a team. If the team is scuffling out of the gates, and here comes the rookie, and all of a sudden, not only does he play well, but he lists everybody else, too. Yeah, I tell you what, and in those environments, um, the environment on the road is always tough. And for a freshman to come in in those environments and play uh, with the poise that he has, it's been really impressive. But it also shows the, the true confidence that he's uh, received from his teammates. You know, I think the teammate, all his teammates, all his coaches, we believe in him. He knows he belongs out there. And, uh, you know, and he shows it when he goes out there. Well, you, we talk about a freshman, and then there's the Tyler Wall. I would imagine that he knows the clock is ticking now as we turn the calendar into March. But you played. I mean, if you're a senior, if you're a freshman, everybody knows the clock is ticking in March, right? No doubt about <laughs> it. No doubt about it. And this is what you play for. You know, you kind of build the season up. But really, uh, what everyone remembers is, is, you know, late February, early March, what happens in March. And, uh, there's a lot of excitement about it. Uh, a lot of times guys look ahead too far. Uh, that may be the case with us. Uh, but we, we just got to really focus in on the moment. And I think uh, Blackwell has done a great job, especially the last couple games of, of doing that. Just staying in the moment, playing possession by possession, and then good things happen. I've all, I'm always fascinated by what you guys need to do as coaches beyond the X's and O's. And this team, when it's right, can play with anybody. It has proven that. It, is that one of the things that you all, as a staff, you have to stress to these guys? I mean, there, there's obviously you got to do this better. You got to got to defend this better. You got to, you know, better shot selection, this, that, and the other. But just knowing when they play at their best, that they don't have to take a back seat. Yeah, we've definitely shown it uh, in a lot of stretches and a lot of big games. Uh, but it's it's a matter of putting it all together. And I think uh, we we've seen it. And we've talked about it, but it's a matter of you got to go out and finish. You got to go out and do it when it matters. And the guys are up for that challenge. They're, they're you know, they're hungry. You know, I, we have a record that, you know, maybe we're disappointed right now, but that's the past. You know, it all starts over uh, today and each moment, and that's how we got to play this thing. All right, Dean Oliver is a Badgers. Move on to the month of March. We'll take a break and more to come as we continue with the Badgers Sports Report. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health, remarkable. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training, no school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. 
UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com and by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. The Badgers will close out the regular season in the coming days, a Thursday home matchup against Rutgers, the final home game of the season. And then on Sunday, the Badgers will finish Big Ten regular season play in West Lafayette against the Purdue Boilermakers. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. <laughs> 